Commander. Welcome to Mech Shah, outlaw crossroads of the galaxy. Darth Shah. I'm pleased we finally have an opportunity to work together. I've heard such delicious things about you. I served your old ally, Darth Valron. He asked that I aid in supervising this operation due to my experience with the galaxy's criminal element. This intriguing specimen is a member of the Brothers, our key allies on the station. They've provided the Empire with quality slave labor for many years. It is our great honor to take those without value and give them value, to give labor to those without purpose. Why don't you tell me your plans for Mekshar? As direct as your reputation. Our goal here is more complex than it might seem. Let's step into the operations center to discuss the details. Wait. There's some... What? Oh! this was that I have no idea but I appreciate the help anytime it's good to see you again Lord Shah still in one piece oh oh yes the force was strong with him but he didn't stand a chance for a Sith to defy the Empress and attack you during a top-priority mission. You must have done something truly stirring. I don't remember making any Sith angry lately. None that are alive, at least. Perhaps he simply wanted a challenge. Fascinating. Ah, well. You handled him easily enough. Best if we return to the mission at hand. Shall we? Ah, old friend. Such a pleasure to see you again after so long. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt? On you? I'm amazed that there's anyone left in the galaxy who would even try. I'm not convinced it was an assassin. It felt more like I was being tested. Really? I shall task some of our people with tracking the assailant down. I would love to learn more. Now then, Char, let's go over what we've planned. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling? Unfortunately, that wouldn't fulfill our Empress's command. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, they'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this, and we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. Then we lure them in and attack them while they transfer the fuel. Just so, old friend. Major Anri, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Huts, till their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt. Well. She wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won. So they put in a fail-safe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit, make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks, fry every ship in the fleet. 
perfect. How do we get started? The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. Fortunately, you have the perfect opportunity to get started. Brother? Heartbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Heartbreaker's auction. Ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel. And help the Republic slip its head into the noose. And what will the rest of you be doing? Major Anri will be acquiring some special items we'll need later. Meanwhile, I will make a show of myself around the rest of Mekshaw. We shall lead our enemies to suspect we're planning a direct assault, so they do not look too closely for other dangers. I will remain in contact, should any other urgent matters arise. And what's your back? At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Best of luck! Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'll be glad to have any information you can give me. Just doing our part. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker. Revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune. But that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. Darth Shah said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. His people handle maintenance for all of Mechshaw. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his vote to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Hotbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Wald, one of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. The mighty Sith Empire. Resting its future on shady deals with shadier people. Wars are never won on the front lines. Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves. Now, we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years. All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace. We keep the balance. And we keep moving forward. We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, 
They'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy this speech? I think the Empire might not be so easy to overcome. Time will tell. In the meantime, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me, and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes. I have your Sith friend's word on it. The Sith aren't known for keeping their word or keeping the peace. Such cynicism! Commander, meet Awidir, Jedi Knight. That's enough. The two of us have a prior appointment, I'm afraid. Please, enjoy the auction. I know you helped Malgus on Osis. You picked the wrong side and you're going to regret it. I'm going to remind you of this moment, when you're busy dying at my feet. I'm not afraid of you. Master Jedi. See you around. Get friendly with someone else. I've got nothing to say to you. How about hello? That would be a good start. You're wasting your breath. I don't deal with your kind. What do you mean, my kind? I don't deal with Mandos or their pals. We're done here. Exactly what I'd expect from someone who actually claims the title Darmanda for his crew. Are they really that bad? Darmanda are soulless. Honorless. I don't know why he was cast out, but I do know we shouldn't trust him. Hey, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I knew he was an exile, but he's a lot touchier about Mandalorians than I expected. Now that I think about it, I bet he's just trying to keep up his ex-Mando tough guy act in front of everyone here. Word is he spends a lot of time brooding in the cantina. If you were to run into him there, he might be a little less surly. Maybe. Worth a shot. Chonky Faguta de Obora Geoto Kakise. De Mote Kikasa, do Bonilis de Oto. Chai con Kunta Chichai. It depends on how well you treat your friends. Makipuna Mali Tuta or Mishka. Conchita Chichakta. To Kusa Malachikuta, y Kosa Mose Alachuta. Kobane Puta, Taise Jescusku. I'm curious. What's your stance on fueling the Republic ships? Kasuyali koyarang kenka kurum. Klis kataka yos osko uko pokuta. Makipu na mali tuta o mishka. Mitisa roda kopana chaporko utman gisa. It would be better to discuss this in private. Bampaula kavaji oto. What do you have in mind? Jubula wa mi chade sula. Kastu undile, jigo hola lukuta. Tungi machechu, kuti nanki he. Wana wa de bloto wichawa. Keep on walking, I got nothing to say to imp lovers. Insulting me to my face. Not the smartest choice. 
Hutbreaker needs me and mine a lot more than she needs you and yours. You want to kill me? Go ahead. See what happens. Huh. I need another drink. Ah, there you are. Have you learned everything you need to complete our plan? Yes, I'm done here. Splendid. I hope your time was... illuminating. How'd I do? Too scruffy? Just scruffy enough? Scruffy isn't the word I'd choose. Hmm. I couldn't agree more. Gonna do a hit and run on Jot's turf a bit later. Need to keep the old crank from realizing who's behind it. Just need a few more sets of gear for the rest of my boys and we'll be off. I've rather loudly let the actual Nova Blades, as well as the Exchange, hear that I'm hiring extra muscle. Word should spread quickly. I'm on my way to meet with one of the crews we need to vote for the refueling. Wonderful. My master knew you were the one for the job. Well then, we all have our tasks before us. Shall we reconvene in the Brothers' territory later? Why did you come here? I don't like the way you're talking to me. It's about to be more than talking. You understand me? <sighs> you're going to work with me. Or I'll obliterate you and every last one of your Darmanda. Ah, guess there is some fire in you. Fine, I'll hear you out. What do you want from me? I want you to vote in favor of selling fuel to the Republic. You want them to refuel? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, but I don't need to. You know how this works. You do a little something for me first, and I'll consider it. What did you have in mind? You know that slimy little Rhodian Vink? Runs a smuggling crew? He's been raising prices on me, and I'm sick of it. Profits are thin enough without that bug-eyed scammer button in. I want him and his bodyguards dead. No witnesses, no chance the Darmander catches the blame. I know the guy who's next in line. Done business together. He'll hire some of my guys as bodyguards and I'll be in a nice spot. So, there it is. Take out Veek, and the vote's yours. You can count on me. Veek is as good as dead. Take this communicator and get somewhere out of the way. Buzz V with it, and he'll think Hutbreaker's calling for him. Use it to call me when the job's done. Once I see it with my own eyes, we'll be golden. Miti Sarona, Copana Chaporco Utman Gisa? Job's done. Good. The boat's yours. Good luck with your war. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. Commander, am I interrupting anything? I just finished convincing Indigo to support our plan. What do you need? Perfect. Remember when I mentioned that hit and run on Jot's territory earlier? Well, I've got my squad ready to move. Last thing we need is you. What do you mean? Jot's crew handles maintenance for everything in the station, including the failsafe system that roasts the fuel. He'll have a schematic for the failsafe on his computers. We need that data so we can modify the system to juice it up like the boss wants. My team hits Jot's place first, so he thinks pirates are trying to run off with some of his repair droids. While he's out chasing us around, you sneak into his HQ and grab the data. Sound good? I'd gladly kill that crusty old man, but then we'd need another vote. The sacrifices we make for our empire. Before we dive into this op, I have to tell you, 
I feel like Valron's playing games here. Treating those creep slavers like they actually matter. Hell, playing nice with any of the locals. Boss's eyes are on more than just the mission, I'm sure of it. Members of the Dark Council always look out for themselves. At least as much as they look out for the Empire. Valron and Shah especially. Alright, I've burned enough of your time. I'll move my people into position and we'll be ready to start when you are. Amri out. Major Anri, I'm downloading the failsafe schematics now. Copy that. Then we finally have the old fool locked down. Gonna snag some droids and make our getaway before he gets loose again. Anri out. Thanks to your impressive efforts, the vote has gone as we intended. Mekshar will sell fuel to the Republic. Their ships are preparing to dock now. All without the slightest idea of our true plans. Well done. We can begin our attack as soon as their ships are locked in. I've gone over the failsafe schematics with my boys. We'll break into the maintenance shafts and hit the four main emitters all at once. Someone else will have to throw the big switch, though. Can't activate the failsafe from inside. Has to be done from the dock's control center. Leave that to me. We're of the same mind. Excellent. Before you begin, I will load the remainder of our troops into assault shuttles and make a diversionary strike on the docks themselves. That should serve to distract the bulk of their defenders. Still, do be careful as you approach the failsafe controls, darling. Don't worry. You won't need to distract them for long. Splendid. Oh, to see their ships gutted by the very fuel that they were so desperate to acquire. This will be a glorious day for the Empire. A day to be exceeded only by our forthcoming victory on Corellia. Now then, everyone to your tasks. Take no prisoners, and above all else, enjoy yourselves. I've reached the failsafe controls. Emitters have all been modified. We're ready. Perfect. Activate the failsafe. Firing now. Spectacular. Such glorious chaos. It was everything I'd imagined. Well done, everyone. All forces return to base. You made an all-out military assault on my docks! Meksha isn't Imperial territory! You don't get to ignore my rules! It is true that our forces attack their ships, as they do in all corners of the galaxy. But it was your council that voted to put them in that position. And it was your weapon that shredded their ships so spectacularly. No! They'll never think that we have been working together since the beginning. That is exactly what they'll think. Why else would you be meeting us now? You have made an enemy of the Republic. Your neutrality will be meaningless. But you are not alone in these trying times. Your affiliation with the Empire will gradually strengthen over time. I believe you could become our key refueling station in this sector, if you learn to behave. You played them from the beginning. Very impressive. Oh, that's no way to speak about our partners. Our enthusiastic partners. You are enthusiastic, aren't you? Yes! Splendid. You may go now. Valron, Shah, report. The Republic fleet has been all but eradicated. They will not trouble you on Corellia. Then your mission is complete. Prepare to extract all forces. With no further Republic reinforcements to contend with, our victory on Corellia is all but guaranteed. I'm transmitting coordinates now. We will meet to discuss our strategy for the attack immediately. Malgus out. Watching you work has been as delightful as ever. 
I shall look forward to our next opportunity to collaborate, as always. Farewell. My lords. Orders just came through. Looks like I'm backing you up on Corellia. Heard they have good whiskey. Might try and grab some. Don't bother. Kalsinor's blends are just as good, and much simpler to find in Imperial space. Maybe so. But you know what they say about a looted bottle. The truest taste of victory. Oh, I like this one. I've enjoyed working with her so far. Major Anri, this is Lana Benico. Charmed. Hey, I saw the Sith leave. Am I clear to come in now? One of yours? Most of the time. Are we good to go or what? This is not the best neighborhood. Lead the way. <laughs>